Typically, if a jeweler wanted to make a band like this from scratch, we would be working with a strip of metal that we would make or buy, and we would need to figure out how long to make this strip to become this band that we would later wrap into a circle and solder the seam together and make a band of the exact size we wanted. So typically, a jeweler or somebody making this ring would have to make this they would have to do a bunch of either complicated mathematical calculations or guesswork to figure out how long to cut this to get the exact size ring they wanted. And I've been working with this problem for, for a number of years, trying to figure out how I could simplify this process. What I've come up with is this little tool here, and I call it a sliding ring gauge. But what it does is it takes this strip of metal. Uh, it doesn't matter what thickness it is, because this tool allows for that in the calculation. So what I would do with this tool is I would take this strip of metal that's going to become a ring, I would put it in this little window, and I would adjust the gauge for just that thickness. Once I pull the little piece of metal out, I can put it then on this gauge, and there's a little slot here that allows you to take a jeweler's saw, which is this, and I'm able to saw through this little slot. And this really allows me to cut this extremely straight. So even if I'm not a real good sawer, I can saw that end off nice and straight. So in this case, let's say that I want to make the ring a size 9. I would put the cut end up on my little gauge on my tool at exactly the size 9. I would come back over to my little cutting slot. And I would saw that through. There. So I made a cut on either end of my piece of metal. It matches up to my size 9 on my gauge. And now when I take this piece of metal and I bend it into the shape of a band, I put the two ends together precisely and solder together. When I make the ring round again and finish up the ring, it's exactly the size that I want. So this little tool makes that all possible. It's very, very easy then to determine the length and to cut the end square with this little tool. So it's really quite a great tool, and I think it's going to be a really popular tool among jewelers. My students that have used it so far think it's just a terrific piece of equipment.